I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and another set of interesting questions. This time we are going to analyze the graph of the function, its first derivative and second derivative to derive relations between critical points. In case you want to learn from me, you can always join my classes by sending an email on the address given. Let us now enjoy the journey of success. I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Math Institute. In this video, we are going to analyze graph of function, graph of first derivative, and the graph of second derivative. These types of questions are very common in any test when we talk about calculus. I have taken these questions from the past five years of test papers, one of the best. In the very first question, we will analyze second derivative of the graph. The question here is, the following graph represents the second derivative f double prime x of the function f of x. So that is the graph given to you. The graph is of second derivative. On what interval is the graph of function? On what interval is the graph concave up for the function? Right? So graph of function, you have to write comments on. On what interval is the f of x graph concave down? List x coordinates of the point of inflection on graph of f of x. You get my idea. So that is what this really question means. Analyze the graph of second derivative as given to you and write the properties for the graph of the function. You get the idea. I hope it is absolutely clear. You can now pause the video and answer this particular question. Let's move on to the second question now. We have three of them. This time, we are going to analyze the graph of the function. Which of the following is true for the interval 0 to infinity for the graph of function f of x shown on the right? So we are given the graph of function f of x, right? So this is the graph of function f of x. So we have four things given here. We need to figure out which of the following is true for the interval 0 to infinity, for this interval. You get the idea. So multiple choice question, one of the options is the correct option. You can look into this and identify the correct option. Here is the third question for you, which is, we are going to analyze the first derivative. Graph of first derivative is given this time. The graph of the first derivative, f prime x, is shown for which of the following, for which of the values of x is the function f of x increasing. So, multiple choice question. Identify the value of x where the graph of f of x is increasing, correct? We are given the points x as minus 2.5, somewhere there, x equals to minus 2, right there at the intercept, x equals to minus 1.2, somewhere here, and x equals to 0. So those are a few points given to you. You need to identify the graph of the first derivative is given. At which point is the function increasing? Is that clear to you? So I hope you have got your answers. Now let us look into their solutions one by one. So we'll begin with So we'll begin with question number one, which says the following graph represents the second derivative. So that's the second derivative. On 
what interval is the graph concave of? So, if the second derivative is given to us, if second derivative of a function is greater than 0, then it is concave of, right? And if the second derivative is less than 0, then it is concave down. Let me write dn. So, you need to identify the interval when this graph is positive or when this graph is negative, right? So, you can see from here that that is your 0. So, it is positive on this side and then positive in between these intervals. You get the idea. And therefore, you can now easily write down the interval. So, it is from minus infinity to minus 4 that it is positive, right? And from 0 to 4, union 0 to 4. That is the portion which is going to be concave up on the function. Get the idea. Perfect. So, I hope you got it right. Next question is, on what interval is the graph concave down? So, wherever it is negative, right? So, it is negative between minus 4 and 0. And then after plus 4, right? So, union 4 to infinity. So, that is the interval in which the graph of the function will have concave down, right? C, list x coordinates of the point of inflection. Now, point of inflection is a point where concavity changes. So, concavity changes when it becomes from plus to minus or minus to plus, right? So, here concavity changes, here also concavity changes, and there also concavity changes. And therefore, clearly the points are x is equal to minus 4, 0, and 4. So, these are the x coordinates of the points where the concavity changes. Since the concavity changes, right, it is kind of like this, then you see, right, you have a point of inflection. Perfect. So, that's what it means. So, I hope it is absolutely clear to you. Perfect. Let's now move on to question number two, which says, which of the following is true for the interval 0 to infinity for the graph of the function? So, we are given the graph of the function. So, from 0 to infinity, we are talking about first and the second derivative, right? So, can you tell me if this is the function? In that case, how will be the first derivative? Well, if I draw a tangent here anywhere, it is negative, right? So, that means this is always less than 0, correct? And what do you see? The graph is concave down. Since the graph is concave down, what do you expect about the second derivative? Well, the second derivative should be negative, right? So, that is the condition when both are negative. So, it is the option D for you, correct? That is how you can analyze and answer such a question. Very important from test point of view. The last question here is, the graph of the first derivative is given to you for what values of x is the function f of x increasing? So, what do you think? Graph is given and we want increasing. It means what? It means that this derivative should be positive, right? Greater than 0. So, it is within this interval that it is increasing, right? So, so the answer should be any point within these intervals. Now, let us check the points. When x is minus 2.5, 2.5 minus will be here. So, at that time, it is not increasing, right? Since f prime x is negative. At minus 2, it is 0. It is not increasing. At minus 1.2, at minus 1.2, maybe somewhere here, it is increasing, correct? So, that becomes the right answer. And of course, at 0, it is negative. And therefore, option C is the right option. You get the idea. So, so these graphs could be misleading at times, but I hope 
with this analysis, the concept is absolutely clear, correct? So we analyze the graph of the function, we analyze the graph of first derivative, and we started with the analysis of second derivative graph. Second derivative provides us with concavity, right? So let me summarize here. First derivative, if it is greater than 0, increasing. And second derivative, if it is greater than 0, concave up. That, in short, should help you answer such questions. I hope you find it interesting and useful. Please provide your suggestions and comments. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that would be great. Thank you and all the best.